In the past few days, I've talked a lot about Tesla's full cell driving beta, and I even had a report this morning, new one. But Tesla's full cell driving beta test has caught the attention of federal safety regulators. NHTSA is taking a wait and see approach to Tesla's new controversial stunt. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story later today. Andrew Hawkins has a very interesting story about NHTSA taking a wait and see approach to Tesla's full self driving beta and saying that um, has the, this FSD has caught the attention of federal safety regulators. I will have the link of his story in the description of this video so you can peruse. But in the meantime, Andrew says, federal regulators are keeping their eye on the rollout of Tesla's full self-driving experiment. This week, the automaker began, you know, uh, beta testing its latest advanced driver assist software with a select um, uh, group of customers. And so far, the government is taking a wait and see approach. In a statement, a spokesperson for the U.S. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration said it would, quote, monitor the new technology closely and will not hesitate to take action to protect the public against unreasonable risks to safety. The statement also included some footnoting of Tesla's decision to describe its driver assist feature as self-driving. And um, so here is the quote. As we have stated consistently, no vehicle available for purchase today is capable of driving itself. The most advanced vehicle technologies available for purchase today provide driver assistance and require a fully attentive human driver at all times performing the driving task and monitoring the surrounding environment. Abusing these technologies is, at a minimum, distracted driving. Every state in the nation holds the driver responsible for the safe operation of the vehicle. So this was Tesla's footnote quoted by NHTSA. Now, I don't know what to say to how, and how much to say that we need to emphasize safety. If you remember yesterday, the news broke on um, in uh, Twitter and we reported on that, that Tesla apparently has been calling the, the beta testers of full cell driving program saying that if you do something uh, foolish, we will uh, remove you. We have the data of how the car is driving, where the car is go uh, going, but we will remove you from our um, test program. So keep driving nicely and be in control. This is beta test and Tesla should and has been emphasizing the safety and security. It's enough to do one person to do something foolish in the beta program and it will turn to a nightmare for Tesla. Tesla has checkered history with the NHTSA, the federal agency that can issue recalls and investigate automobile crashes. In, 19, in 2019, NHTSA opened an investigation into complaints about vehicle fires connected to the battery management system in some Model S and Model X vehicles by Tesla. The agency has also investigated multiple fatal crashes involving the Tesla autopilot. Earlier this year, in 2020, the NHTSA, uh, its NHTSA's board concluded that the advanced driver assistance system was one of the probable causes of a fatal, to the fatal 2018 crash in which a California man was killed after his Model X smashed into a concrete barrier. Here's a quote. Full self-driving is an, uh, actually, no, this is not a quote. This is the pricing talk talking about. Full self-driving, The Verge writes, is an 8,000 and soon to be 10,000, uh, according to Elon Musk, option that allows Tesla owners to use the vehicle's previously highway-only navigate on autopilot function on city and residential streets. The car will stop at intersections, 
perform left and right hand turns and lane change automatically as long as the driver has selected a destination in the navigation. Tesla warns that drivers need to keep their eyes on the road and hands on the wheel at all times, though the automaker famously refuses to include a robust driver monitoring system like infrared eye tracking that other companies have to ensure its customers are following safety protocols. I don't know why Tesla is refusing to do that. As such, full self-driving is only considered a level 2 which means partially automated system by the Society of Automotive Engineers Standards. NHTSA characterizes it as auto steer on city streets using the branding for Tesla Lane Keep Assistance feature. Musk has mischaracterized it as level 5, despite no level 5 system existing anywhere in the world right now, The Verge concludes in its story. So I don't know, what do you think about the safety of NHT friends? Let me know in the comments section below. And we know that right now the Tesla's full self-driving beta is here. And uh, like I said, Verge says that it looks scary a little bit and uh, using untrained uh, consumers to validate beta level software on public roads is dangerous. This is, I'm taking uh, the, presenting you the other option, the other opinion today. You know that I've been very supportive of some of Tesla's works and, uh, but to be on, honest and to be uh, uh, upright we need to also keep in mind that this there, there, there may be some terrifying things you know uh, not because it seems erratic or uh, malfunctioning but because of the way it will inevitably be misused tesla needs to do something about the possible misuse of these beta testers of uh, fsd that's why yesterday tesla called them and said if you do something stupid we will remove the tesla we will remove you from beta testing and the verge also writes that early reactions to the software update range uh, from that was a little scary to full throttled enthusiasm for Elon Musk willingness to let his customers beta test features that aren't ready for wide release yet this willingness has helped Tesla maintain its market leader position at the forefront of electric and autonomous vehicle technology but it also presents a huge risk for Tesla, especially if those early tests go wrong. So far, thankfully, nothing has happened. Everything is going smoothly. We're seeing interesting videos and um uh, Tesla has said autopilot should only be used by attentive drivers with both hands on the wheel, but the future is designed to assist the driver and it's not foolproof. There have been several high profile incidents in which some drivers have engaged autopilot and crashed. And I just talked about that. Well, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, public road testing is a serious responsibility, friends, and using untrained consumers to validate beta level software on public roads is um, dangerous and inconsistent with existing guidelines and industry norms. But let's see how things go. Hopefully, Tesla has thought about this and has uh, some precautions how it can deal in, some, if, in case something goes wrong. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. Take good care of each other and I'll see you soon in our next report.